So guys, I and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, now you do. My name is Nao and in today's video, as you ladies and gents can see by the title, we are going to be talking about something that I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time, but I just didn't know how to approach this a certain con um this certain topic because I really didn't have much information based on it. But um, I spent the last about a month or so in Rasukukuna visiting my aunt, you know, so my aunt is a very old school person. So she gave me this information and you know, today I'm so ready to be here to share this with you now without wasting any time on the intro to get into the video. But before I do so, just a quick reminder, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Yay, we're officially on our way to 2000 subscribers. Please do make sure that you subscribe, you give my video a thumbs up, comment down below and also check me out on my social media platforms. Now, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about something that is quite serious. I think something that I've always wanted to talk about on my channel, but, you know, I didn't have, you know, a better approach to come about, you know, the topic because I didn't really have much information um, about it. But as I had said, I had actually visited my aunt um, a few weeks ago in Rasukukune and my aunt is a very old person who is very knowledgeable when coming to certain things concerning African spirituality. So I thought that, you know, during that time, I should take my time and ask certain questions that, you know, I really want to share with you guys because I think this is what I wanted to share with so many people. I think that's a very important thing that, you know, a lot of us are not even aware of. Right. So what we're going to be talking about today is spiritual diseases, aka Mahoma. If you don't know that, um, in Tibeti we call it Mahoma. Spiritual diseases in Tibeti are called Mahoma. So I don't really have a better um, definition for what Mahoma is, but you know, I'll just put it into my own words. It's basically diseases, spiritual diseases that you get from people that you interact with, right? So it happens in different ways. And in today's video, I'm just going to be giving you um, ways in which one can get spiritual diseases from other people, right? So in so many cases we get spiritual diseases from our partners or people that we're dating you know our boyfriends our girlfriends so the thing is a lot of us are really not aware of these kind of things because you know we're raised in a modern world where we you know can't see or we're not even aware of what is happening in our lives so i remember having a conversation with my aunt about this i was actually quite shocked to actually um hear how we or how a person can actually get spiritual diseases i was actually shocked but as i had said you can get um spiritual diseases from your significant other your partner your girlfriend or your boyfriend so the first way one um gets mahoma is um for instance if maybe i have a boyfriend right um and it happens that uh, my boyfriend passes on or it happens that i pass on right god forbid so what happens is that my boyfriend if i die for instance my boyfriend is not really allowed to attend my funeral why is that so that is because me and this particular person have been engaging in you know um sexual activities and all that so me being there basically in capisha like a dark cloud like singing on me uh which is not good for me so what would happen in most cases when i attend a funeral or, or, or of a partner of a boyfriend like we're talking in a boyfriend context not in a wife or husband context in a boyfriend and girlfriend context right so what would happen then is that like like um bad aura around me right because i attended that funeral um it's a funeral of someone that i've been sexually active with and all that so what would happen if i i attend the, uh, the funeral is that every single person that i date after that it's either um emotionally you know some of them might die if they're not strong enough some of them you know they may have um baby chan um but it's bad luck you know from then like because you had attended that funeral so in most cases um in my culture especially in african context we're not really allowed to be attending a funeral of a boyfriend or a girlfriend because in most cases that is where you contact or you contact mahoma 
you know so what uh happens if maybe a boyfriend or a girlfriend passes on it's just easy you just go find someone who can easily do a cleansing on you so that the spirit of a person who has left that is how it happens so i remember my aunt said um this the other time where you know rena as the youth Rariki lele I don't know who really like us because English again, but I'm just gonna say that's be door Rena as a travan so or Rena as the youth are real are really that is why so many of us today are facing so many problems Jelong or daddy ragal it might be in school. It might be life wise right now. We just think that it's just normal, you know life things Sorry, whereas it's basically um involved with the things that we're doing you know we see the richard you order the energy from people and we don't even consider the thing you're yeah, cleansing and all that so there's so many ways one can contact my home so the second way in which one can contact my home let's give an example right um i'm gonna give examples with myself because i think that's the best way to um you know tackles us basically so Nero is me right it happens that Nero gets pregnant with Sipo's child right but Nero because we are ganga like Nero is naughty she just likes being you know people's person while Nero is pregnant she decides to go engage with Tabelo sexually right while she's pregnant with Sipo's child so that is where um Tabelo Right, the other guy will be able to contact Mahuma, right? At checking at the Atenakim Barking a bed aura and all that. And in many cases, so many people die, so many men die from that, you know. Um I don't quite I don't really know how to basically explain um what happens between why 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 one gets mahoma from that but i know that one gets mahoma from that so that is a very dangerous game so ladies lelena we need to learn wikilela so when you know what you are pregnant stay away from other guys because it happens for especially spiritually and in that in most cases um people actually die from that so the third way in which one um, contact Mahoma is, you know, through termination of pregnancy, right? So, um, termination of pregnancy, I think, in this day and age, is the thing that is approved of, which I think works well, you know, in so many cases. I think, you know, yeah, in that, but I think it's very important or once you have done that, it is important for you to go through the process of cleansing in order to like, you know, um release that that's in that's within you. So it happens that it's me now. I get pregnant and then once Noah is pregnant, Noah decides that she doesn't want the baby, of which is okay because at the end of the day it's her choice right so Nero goes and terminates the baby but then after that she doesn't go back and do cleansing what happens after that Nero goes around you know um being with different people sexually engaging with um people sexually and that happens or those people which is very very dangerous but because of these spiritual diseases as much as so many of us don't take it really seriously because i get it in this day and age we don't really believe so much in african spirituality but as what actually happens and in that country or you have madimabi or you bad luck in your life and all that it's because of the things that happens you know that the the, 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 the contact that you have with people especially sexual content so it's con um uh, sexual activities so that is why i say that it is important as a person to you know know the kind of people that you date understand the kind of people that you date and i know that it's very difficult in, the, in this day and age to know the people that we're dating because at the end of the day but to us people are like they do things that they're not supposed to do and you know in so many cases we don't really have control over what other people do but it is very important for you as a person to know what your partner does because at the end of the day that um will um affect you very negatively you know that is what in so many times leads you to contacting the spiritual diseases so it is very important to know that and i think another way to basically um just um solve this thing in your life is by going through spirit 
okay so i'm sorry guys there was music behind so i had to stop a bit so as i was saying the way to basically tackle this issue yamahoma is just as easy as going for cleansing right you know consulting with a traditional healer and you know basically having a conversation with them of um how things had happened you know obviously they're gonna tell you how you had contact who had contacted mahoma and then they're the best people to basically help you um solve that problem so yeah mahoma happens in so many ways and i think it is very important for us especially the youth especially us i think what actually pushed me to do this video is that i'm in university you know i get to have conversations with people and i think the way people are so let's just say liberated in that way it sometimes scares me because i'm like okay i think it's your choice it's your body to do whatever you want to do with it but be careful because at the end of the day you might be getting things say longore um they have the potential to ruin the rest of your life so thank you ladies and gents for watching today's video i hope you ladies and gents enjoyed i have i hope you ladies and gents had actually um you know picked up some of the things that happens in our daily lives you know things that we engage in might actually have consequences at the end of the day so i hope you had learned something from this video um i tried to explain as best as i could possibly explain it's just that you know explaining in swa in english is just very difficult for me but um i hope you ladies and gents were able to understand certain things that i had to say in this video now thank you so much for watching today's video if you do want to see more videos like these please do make sure that you subscribe um and as i said we're on our way to 2000 subscribers please do make sure that you subscribe join the family click on that like button you know comment down below uh, share with a friend you know people that you are you know around you know people who would really like to know such things you know things that happens in our lives that affects our lives and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed till next time i'm out